Well, here we go. First attempt at powder coating. <clears throat> Sorry, somebody on one of the comments said you need to let the bullets set for about a week, um, you know, to crystallize. But I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and try just a few, um, just to see see what they look like for my first attempt. In case I screw them up too bad, I don't have to melt a whole ton of them back down. I could just have to melt a few that I screwed up on. I got this little bucket that I've been saving for like a year and a half because it's a number five and I hear that that's the best plastic. I know a lot of people throw a couple little Aerosoft BBs in there. I, I don't have any of those. I'm just going to try it without them. Hopefully it'll work. Um, and then uh, Full Ed Taco uses, I don't know if he uses this color or not, I don't know, but powder by the pound, um, ordered that. Uh, hopefully it'll work. I don't know if it will or not. I mean, I hear a lot about the Eastwood uh, Ford Light Blue or Ford Blue, whatever it is. And I was going to get that, and I don't know, whatever. I just end up getting this uh, after watching one of his videos. Um, so I don't know. I'm not real sure. Hopefully it'll turn out. I'm going to, I don't know if I'll be able to show the whole thing, but at least I'll uh, be able to show the final results. And. I wanted to get a uh, some of the wire. I, all I've got is like chicken wire. I don't have any like fine wire. I was gonna try to get some of the mesh, you know, to make a little basket because the basket method looks the easiest. But I've got this old pan that I used, uh, you know, yesterday for the casting, and I think I'll just put some wax paper in there and you know just do the single bullet stack uh, method, which seems like it would take quite a bit longer but I'm gonna go ahead and do that like I said I'm not gonna do a ton of them I'm just gonna try a few to see how they see how they turn out since this is my first time so anyways I don't know uh, we'll get this party started and see what happens here okay time for audience participation again there's what I got I mean I'm thought about putting a little more on there but it looks like that they're pretty well covered I don't want to get them too thick you know um, I think those will probably probably work just fine I can see where the plastic BB's probably would help a little bit but you know this powder I mean the, if you get good powder that's probably the main thing to to worry about so anyways we'll see how these cook up all right well I'm done and I gotta tell you it was a little bit of a comedy of errors because uh, you know after I got them coated and I had this pan that I thought would fit in my toaster oven that I have that I'm using and I had them all lined up on here I mean like you know perfect and I go to stick it in the toaster oven and I mean it lacks about that much of going in and yeah that's just the way it goes so I had to go to plan B I had to get another pan so I took them off the white had them on sitting on wax paper picked it up of course they went everywhere then I put them on that pan and I tried to straighten them out and whatever the best I could but I ended up kind of messing up you know some of the powder on them a little bit um, even though I had like some uh, plastic gloves with powder I had powder on them I still you know it still ended up messing it up because the pan was smaller and then some of them actually were touching but so I mean I had a few that you know kind of have little little streaks uh, you know down the side here but um, I don't know you know I think most of them turned out pretty well so you know there again you guys let me know what you think um, and obviously that's why I didn't want to do the whole batch for you know right out of the right out of the gate because uh, I didn't know exactly how they were going to turn out but and I might have had the powder on some of them a little bit too thick uh, some of them a little bit too thin, but um, I've got the sizer, you know, uh, the Lee sizer, and um, I guess I'll just go ahead and size these down or size them up or down. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what they're, uh, I never did measure them uh, before, uh, before powder coating or anything. Um, so we'll see what these. Uh, So these are pretty pretty big there. 
360 um, so these are dropping uh, with the powder coat on them depending on where you hit it 363 Sorry, it's all impromptu here, people. But here they are before the uh, powder coat. Well, so these are all, I don't know, it doesn't, maybe the powder coat add a little bit to them, but depending on where you hit them, they're a little bit big. Yep, there you go, that one there's a 358. I don't know, maybe I should measure them from the base. 359. 360. Let me measure this one. 360. 360. 359. Let me try these again. I don't know. 360. I may not have been quite right on the measurement there. So anyways, but I'll have to size them down and oh boy, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background there. It's been fun, <laughs> fun day. But anyways, um, I got to get these sized down and uh, hopefully get them loaded up and uh, shoot them pretty soon. So everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the comments on my last video. Really, really helped me out a lot. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit, a little bit more information. Probably do a little bit better job. You know, the more and more I get into it, it always helps. Uh, you know, to get people that have been doing it for years to comment and you know tell you, you know, what you need to change, what you need to do a little bit different, and you know, because I mean, I'm just learning. This is just something totally new for me. So. Thanks again, everybody. Hope you're doing well. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.